Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video I'll be laying down and going through with you my August budget so if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I hope you like the video and are inspired to join our little family that we have here. And if you are, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Today we are going to go through my August budget. So if you are new to my channel, you may not be aware, I write not only a monthly budget, but I also write a weekly budget and I will show you exactly how I do that today. I thought it would be fun as well guys to actually go through how I actually lay down my stickers. So all of the stickers that you see in my planner are available in my Etsy store at the moment. These are the new colours, this is the new layout for this month. It's nice and bright and bubbly which is what we like for a summer month. I'm using my new August washi kit along with the payday stickers and the build you stickers that go with this kit as well. I've decided to start selling the build you stickers that go with the monthly kits as well. So these are a new addition this month. And yeah, as you can see, all of the colors look really, really nice. And guys, I'm a paper planner, so it has to look nice for me, for me to want to continue to do it. That's why I started to make stickers in the first place. I'm using my bold expense sticker kit as well. So those of you who've purchased this kit, you'll be familiar with the colors. So we've got red for unbudgeted this month. Groceries will be in green. Household is going to be in orange and fuel will be in purple. We won't be laying any of these stickers down today, but I just wanted to show you how my monthly overview section is going to look for August. Okay, so if you're following this video and you have an Erin Condren like myself, then all I've done is turn to the next page. But the next page for me is going to be the lined page. For your next page, it'll probably look something like this but I don't use this section in this planner. I have another planner that I use this section for. In this planner, I literally seal the two pages together. I use something called Stick It, and it's just an adhesive roller that I put on the page and stick them together. So you may think that's a bit of a waste, but as I said, I have another planner that I use that page for, so I don't really need it. It's just easier for me when it comes to going through this planner. So I've just turned to the next page and I'm going to lay down my stickers. So the first sheet that I use is my thick washi sticker kit. So these are the header stickers and these are the bottom washi stickers. But I mean, guys, there's no set way of how you do this. This is just how I do it. Some of you may lay down your stickers slightly differently and that's fine. So I'm just going to use my middle one here for my monthly budget. So I lay down my header sticker just like that, nice and centered, and I put down my sticker. So I've got to be nice and careful with this because it is quite long this month. Okay, so I just put that nice and centered in the middle. Okay, and then I put my first sticker down. So I go here. And it goes all the way along here. Okay, so we can start to fill in some information now. So I'm going to put down my income for the month. So I start with my full-time income. So I just put my main as my source. My predicted amount this month is 1,679. So it's usually around about the same amount of money every month, guys, to be honest, for my main source of income. So that's 1,679. My variable income this month 
is going to be 608 pounds so that is slightly lower than it was last month but that's fine because this month I've decided to do something slightly different so as I mentioned already I do have my Etsy store. If you run a business currently or if you've ever run a business before, you'll know that when you first open up, things are not going to be, unless you're really, really lucky, things are not necessarily gonna be flying off the shelf. So businesses take time to grow. And one thing that I've learned so far is that I have been apprehensive to actually pay myself when it comes to the shop. But I have been doing a lot of research into it and it is better for me to start, even if it's just a small amount, to start paying myself for the time that I'm putting into the business initially. And it isn't a proper salary, it is just literally like a stipend payment really. But it is just something to make sure that I am able to see if this is a sustainable business, you know. Yeah, I have decided this month to pay myself, I don't laugh, 30 two pounds now it's a weird amount i know you're probably thinking why not just 30 but there's a method behind the madness so 32 pounds is kind of like the minimum i'm going to pay myself this month if i can pay myself more that would be brilliant but i've kind of given myself that as the minimum i will also be going through my business expenses this month with yourselves i have already scheduled a video for me to go through that and it also ties in with the release of my new business sticker kits so if you are running a small business and you want to see how i go through my expenses or how i lay down my expenses and how i budget for my shop then stay tuned for that video too there is a method to the madness as to why it is 32 pounds or the minimum that I'll be paying myself is 32 pounds this month. Okay, so after I've done that now, I can lay down my bottom sticker. So I've put all of my sources of income in and I'm just going to put my total sticker here. So my total income is 1679, add 608, add 32 which is 2319 pounds okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is put down my variable and fixed expenses but before i do that i'm just going to add another washi here to separate the two So I just put that one there and then I put down my variable and fixed expense stickers. So this one goes here. And then I get my fixed expense stickers. And I turn this here just so that I can actually get this to the end and then it leaves a gap between the two which is what I like. Okay, so that's all laid down now. So I'm going to go through my variable expenses first. So over here we have groceries, or you may put that down as food. I then have my household and my fuel, so my diesel for my car. And we are adding sinking funds over here okay so usually I put my sinking funds into my fixed expenses because I kind of like say to myself right I'm only going to budget a certain amount for the month but depending on how this month goes this may change you know hopefully all of my predictions are going to be correct but you know just in case I'm not able to put the money that I've budgeted this month into these envelopes Okay, so my predicted amount for groceries is going to be 200 this month. Last month it was 160, but I've increased that. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen that I'm constantly going over my food budget. So I've decided to increase my grocery spend. We're going to keep household at 40. 
fuel we are going to increase to 80 so last month i budgeted 50 for fuel but we were over by 30 pounds so i've added that 30 pounds into the budget this month and then our sinking funds i have budgeted at 265 again this may change it may be less but we'll see how the month goes so these are our predicted amounts so i can put my totals sticker underneath okay so our total predicted amounts are 200 plus 40 plus 80 plus 265 which is 585 pounds Okay, so we have £585 for our variable expenses. For our fixed expenses, so these numbers that I put in here are our fixed amounts, so we don't have to put any predictions in. These are our exact amounts that we're going to be budgeting for, for this month. So we have tithe, which is going to be 230 We have DVLA, which is £13.12. We have water, which is 65.79. We have debt, which is 135. Pet insurance, which is 4.48. We have council tax, which is 122 and we have virgin media which is 32 pounds utilities which is 80 and then we have our rent which is 1000 and 50 pounds so if you are a regular follower you may have noticed that a payment is missing from here and that payment is my apple icloud payment so i usually pay not a lot of money what two pounds 50 two pounds 49 a month and what i found out was i don't know if you guys are aware of this but i didn't know that your icloud payment does not give you any extra room on your phone. And I know you may think, okay, obviously it doesn't. It just gives you extra room in a cloud somewhere for all the things on your phone. And that isn't actually the case. So it is mainly used for backing up your services. So like your documents and your, um, and your photos, but you can't actually gain any more space on your phone. And yeah, as I said, it may have sounded like common sense to yourselves, but it wasn't the case for me. So I've been paying two pounds 50 for the last however many months. I think I get 200 gigabytes for that. And I'm using maybe about 50 of that because my phone is jam packed and even offloading some of that data onto the cloud is just not cutting it. So what I have done, what I've decided to do is take that payment out so the main use of my icloud is for my photos so i have a lot of photos i have gone through those photos and tried to delete some but to be honest the majority of them i actually want they're all my memories for my children and things like that so i am going to keep those photos but you can offload your photos for free in google drive so i don't know if you're aware of that but i have looked into it and I am going to stop paying obviously my payment for iCloud and use Google Drive instead because I can offload my photos there for free. So just a little heads up guys if you are paying even if you're paying the minimum I think it's like 79p a month or something like that then you don't need to pay that money because you can store your photos and your data and things like that for free in Google Drive. So that is why we haven't got that payment anymore. Okay, so let's put down our total. Okay, and our total amount is £1,732.39. 
So I'm just going to put that here. And that is that. Okay, so let's lay down some more of these. So next we are going to put down our cash envelope amounts. Okay, so I also stuff my cash envelopes monthly for my free expenses here. So I've put down my groceries, household, and fuel, and I'm putting in 240 and 80. So this is just obviously a quick note on how much money I stuff in those cash envelopes monthly as well. So I can put down here the total amount for cash envelope stuffing is going to be 200, add 40, add 80, which is 320. So that's the amount that we'll be stuffing into our cash envelopes. You guys, oh, I'm so frustrated with this silly, silly phone. Um, for those of you who are not aware, I film everything on my iPhone. I don't have a camera or any of that fancy gadgety kind of stuff. It's just me and my iPhone, unfortunately. And I don't know why, it just keeps cutting out. I have storage on there. I literally had to reset my phone the other day. And I've got, out of the 64 gigabytes, I've got probably about, I don't know, 40 of it free now and still cut out. So I don't know what's going on. So all I did was lay down these last three stickers. So I put my Fin Washi sticker here and I've spaced out my sticker for my breakdown and my remainder amount. That's all I need to do for my August budget. I'll come back at the end of the month and I'll fill in my actual amounts. But yeah, that's all. The next thing that I did was I went through my paycheck. So my first budget for the month. So as you can see, I not only write a monthly budget, but I also write a weekly one. And this is just so that I can pay closer attention to the bills that are coming out on a weekly basis. So a lot of people, all of their bills come out at the first of the month and that's great. I have bills that come out throughout the month. So I have to make sure that there's enough money coming in for that week to cover those bills. So for the first week of August, I have DVLA, water and utilities being my main bills. I've put the bill due stickers in my monthly overview spread that I showed you earlier. And these are the sinking fund amounts that I'll be stuffing in my sinking fund video, which I'll be doing at the end of this week. I've totaled all of these amounts up. So I've totaled up my income and that's come to 117.90 and my outgoings are 178.91. So this is a prime example of why I do this on a weekly basis. I already know from my monthly budget that I have enough money to cover all of my expenses this month, but this week we will be running at a deficit. So I have to make sure that I have enough money that I will send over from my buffer account to cover this amount just for this week. And then I can always put it back the week after or whatever, but I know that I will have enough money coming in overall to be able to cover that deficit. So all I have to do now is stuff my cash envelopes for the month and we'll be good okay, to go. So I have my cash that I'll be stuffing my cash envelopes with for the month. So I'm just going to count it out for you. We should have 320 pounds. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20. So we have our full amount. And I'm just gonna put this to one side here and go through my cash envelopes. So we'll start with household. Household, we already have 10 pounds. We've got 12 pounds and 13 pence. I'm gonna take the small change out and put that into my coin jar and I'm gonna leave the pound coins in here. So we're gonna put the 12 pounds back in here and I'm going to add into it 40 pounds. So we've got 20, 40. So plus the 10, that makes 50. 
and that goes back in here. So we've got 52 pounds to start for the month for this one. Then fuel, we are adding in 80 pounds. So 20, 40, 60, 80. So 80 pounds will be going in here. I have been averaging out about 20 pounds a week. So this makes a lot of sense just to make sure that we have enough money to cover so we don't have to go into our emergency fund. So that goes in there. And then groceries is our last one and we are putting in 200. Let's see, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So yeah, we've increased our grocery budget as well. And you should know me by now that if I do go over this amount, I will use money from my household envelope if it's available. So technically we have about 250 pounds for food for the month, which I think is more than enough. I will be doing a grocery haul video to show you how I am going to try and even decrease this amount this month. So watch out for that as well. Okay, so these are my cash envelopes stuffed and ready to go for the month, guys. I've already laid down my August budget and my budget for the first week. I hope this video was useful. If you found it to be, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out with the channel. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you're kept up to date with all of my latest videos and I'll speak to you in the next one. Have a good day.